Hi guys, today I will show you how to install Ubuntu 12 on the Samsung Galaxy Beam Projector smartphone. The phone which has a projector, also called Beamer, built in the phone. I'm going to show you the instructions on my external uh, Bluetooth keyboard, this one here. And um, please note that it only works, uh, that you can only install Ubuntu on the rooted devices. You can uh, click on the annotation that uh, pops up now uh, or you can uh, go on my channel and uh, check the instructions for the routing there. I have a video where I, I will show you everything in detail. Uh, okay, so you need uh, these upcoming programs. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, after you installed all the free apps that I just mentioned on my list, next thing you need to do is uh, you have to enable the USB debugging. So you go on settings, then you need to go to applications and uh, development. And you have to enable this box here, USB debugging. Okay. Then next, you click on Complete Linux Installer. Um, after that, you click on Install Guides. And uh, in my case, I will show you how to install Ubuntu 12. So we go to page two. Uh, then you need to download the image. I will show you two different types of images. In the first part of the video I will show you the small image. Uh, basically you can choose between three. The core image which is 200 megabyte to download and 750 once extracted. But that uh, doesn't have any uh, graphic user interface. Um, or the small image which is, which is 400 megabyte to download and 2 gigabyte once extracted. That includes the LXD desktop and uh, basic programs like Firefox, LeafPad and uh, it uh, also needs uh, one gigabyte of free space so it includes one gigabyte of free space uh, and the full image which is 1.3 gigabyte to download and uh, 3.5 gigabyte once extracted and that includes the full desktop, the Unity desktop and uh, a lot of programs and uh, it includes as well 1.1 gigabyte of free space. So I'm going to show you the small one, this one here, and I'm going to show you uh, the large one, this one here. So I will start with the small image. So if you want to download it, you just need to click on it. Then uh, you have two options, the torrent file or the source forge. I choose the source forge. Then you open it with uh, Firefox, for example. Then you will come to this page here. Um, you see the download will start automatically. So you're going to download the zip file now. I already did that. So I'm going to abort that. And uh, once you downloaded it, it will come into this folder here I show you. So my files. Then it will come to download and you will have it here. Um, so the small one. Next thing you want to do, uh, you have to create a folder in again my files. The thing is that uh, I put uh, both uh, Ubuntu's the small version and the full version on my external on my external card, on my micro SD card. Why? Because uh, well, I have much more space on there and you don't want to use the internal space of the phone. So I suggest you to do that. So you need to create a folder in your external SD card, in your micro SD card. And I created two. Uh, one for the small version, which I'm going to show you now, and one for the full version. So you can name them Ubuntu Small, for example. And uh, you need to transfer uh, the extracted image that you just downloaded. You have to extract, you have to 
um, transfer it to this folder here. So I will show you how to do that. So uh, as we said, you just downloaded the, um, the image file into the folder um, download. Okay. So next thing you do, you need to extract it. So you use unro zip. And then you're going to the uh, zip file itself, which was on download. And there it was, the small zip. So I double click on it, and then you have to choose extract to. And then you go out. And then you have to go to the external SD card to the folder I told you you have to create which is which is this one here and there you go to small, this one here so here you have to click extract here that means you extract the file which I already did, as you can see here, into that folder. Okay? So, next thing you have to do is uh, you go on the Linux installer again and then you click on launch. Um, here it's important uh, that you have to change the setting because uh, you have to... Um, it has to find your image file. Uh, in the beginning, when you get that uh, Linux installer, it will, uh, the, the path will uh, be on the SD card. That's why, uh, because I moved it to the external SD card, you have to change the path. Okay, so uh, you have to add this one here. So it's the SD um, slash external underline SD. And uh, the file, um, the folder, I told you, uh, which I created was you put too small, so you have to add it exactly like I did it here. This one you can leave uh, with the name Ubuntu, and then you click on Save Changes, because otherwise it cannot find the image file, so you cannot obviously put um, Ubuntu. And then after you do that, uh, you click on Start Linux, then the terminal emulator will uh, start. So it will ask you to start VNC server, you say yes, click on enter, then start the secure shell, which uh, I might just say no. Now uh, it asks you about the screen size, um, so the resolution. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy Beam has exactly 800, has exactly 800 uh, times 480, so that's what you want to type in. So 800 times 480, then you click on enter, then it will take a while, and then once you see this, um, it's kind of started, the new, uh, the X desktop is on local host, and then it will ask you below here um, if you want to save uh, those settings, in my case I say no, because I don't really need to. Maybe I want to, you know, launch it differently. And then you need to wait a bit, because it will boot. Okay, and once you see this one here, the root at localhost, it started. So uh, Linux or Ubuntu 12 is running now. So you have to go out from here. And you have to... If you want to have the graphical uh, user interface, uh, you need to start the Android VNC viewer. So here, um, nickname you leave empty, password is Ubuntu, uh, address is uh, your local host, that means 127.0.0.1. You can click on uh, keep, you can tick this box. Uh, port is 5900, here you can leave it empty. Here is a 24 bit color, you leave it like that. Um, this one you don't really need, this one you leave on auto, this one you don't need to do anything, and you click on connect. And there you go. Uh, in the beginning, because I changed my desktop uh, picture here, 
this will be blue um, and it will tell you LXD desktop so uh, yeah I just changed it because well I liked it more so there you go there you have the small version of uh, Ubuntu um, it's actually kind of fast it's not really that laggy which is pretty cool um, you have you know all different kind of uh, accessories file manager I can show you quickly as you can see it's it's kind of fast um, then well you have internet you have Firefox let's start Firefox Well, I had an open session, so I can go and restore, for example. And uh, here I already loaded YouTube. In order to watch YouTube videos, uh, you need the um, Adobe Flash Player. You have to install it on Ubuntu. Um, yeah, and uh, you have you know other kind of programs such as. Um, well, sound video, uh, you have, I mean, if you know uh, Linux a little bit or Ubuntu, then uh, you know what programs you will get. Um, you have uh, system tools, let me show you quickly the other, and there you go. Okay, uh, that was the small version of Ubuntu, and um, I'm going to show you the uh, large, the full version now. Actually, what I forgot to uh, show you is how to close um, how to close uh, the Linux, the Ubuntu. So, in order to close it, you would go on disconnect here. Okay. So you could disconnect the VNC viewer, and uh, then you have to close it because it's still running in the background. Uh, you have to close the terminal emulator. Um, so you just type in exit and we take a little bit and it tells you shutting down Linux ARM version, the mobile version and uh, then you type in exit again that was too much and uh, and once more in order to, so now it shut down and if you type in exit again it will close the emulator window. Alright, that's it now. I'm going to show you the full version of Ubuntu, how to install it. Um, so I already saved it as I showed you before on uh, my external SD card and I named it uh, Ubuntu full, this one here and uh, there is the image, so I just need to change the path to Ubuntu full in the Linux um, launcher. i show you how to do it. So you go to the Linux install again, then you go on uh, launch, then you go on settings here, edit, and here I have to change it to Ubuntu full because my file uh, name is Ubuntu full. Then save changes. And I'm going to start Linux again, but this time the full version. Start in C server, we say again yes. Then uh, secure, uh, say no. And uh, screen size as before 800 times 48. 480, not 48. 
enter. In case you're wondering where the uh, laser pointer comes from, actually it's built inside the Bluetooth keyboard I have. There is the laser button here, which is pretty handy. So, we don't want to change the uh, settings as before, I say no. Then you wait a little bit and again we see root at local host, that means it started. So we go out of here and we start the ENC server so we can have the graphical user interface. The settings are the same as before. Password is the same, Ubuntu, localhost 127001, as I said, it's totally the same settings. And uh, you click on connect. So in the beginning, it will look like this. It will uh, look pixel gray uh, because it takes quite some time to start. It will take, let's say, one, two minutes to start up. So I'm going to cut the video now to show you uh, to not let you wait. As you can see guys, it's fully loaded. That's uh, the Unity desktop, uh, the U uh, Ubuntu Unity desktop in front of you, which is really cool actually, the user interface and uh, well, the graphical design. Um, what you can also use is uh, your Bluetooth keyboard on it and a Bluetooth mouse. Uh, when, you, when you look here for example, you see the keyboard works without problems. Um, one thing you have to know, this one is more laggy than uh, the LXD desktop, the smaller version which I showed you before, but I have an idea how to solve that problem and I'm going to show you that in uh, one of my next videos. Yeah, there you go, the interface on the left side and let's go out of here. And there you go. Alright, I'm going to shut that down now. I'm going to show you how to exit it. Actually, it's pretty much the same as before. You go on uh, disconnect and you disconnect it from the VNC viewer and then you have to shut it down in the terminal emulator because it's still running there. So you type an exit again. Then it's shutting down, as you can see here. Then uh, you want to type an exit again. And again, to close the um, terminal emulator. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, stay tuned for much more cooler stuff. Thanks. Ciao. One last thing. Keep in mind, guys, that you can do all the projection on a huge 100 inch screen. You just need to move the phone more backwards. That's it. See ya.